Well, hello and welcome to all of you viewing here today. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Well, we have a very special guest here today, someone that I have admired and uh, been friends with, I have to say, for several years now. And it's always a pleasure having Kathy Watson Jenner back here at Gold Learning. Welcome back, Kathy. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me, Fiona. It's a pleasure. So, Kathy, as I mentioned offline, we I really want you to reintroduce yourself. Perhaps you can tell people where you are in the world, remembering that we have mm -hmm. folks coming in from right around the world um, and what you're doing in your neck of the woods these days. Okay. Well, I'm here in Queens County, New York City, the first epicenter of the uh, pandemic, which is lovely <laughs> in the U.S. Uh, yeah. we, we're at our numbers are going down. We've been very good about social distancing. And I've been seeing moms virtually, and uh, also I've been seeing them, a few carefully selected moms in person with precautions and PPE. Mm -hmm. And I've also been working on some uh, recorded presentations and a masterclass on this topic on cervical auscultation, which will be ready hopefully in a few months. Well, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, let's let's get into uh, what's going to be happening. So Kathy's going to be with us coming up here on August 17th. We're going to have a very special gold learning day titled Level Up Your Lactation Skills. That's right. We're going to take things to a whole new level. Kathy's going to be part of that package. You'll be able to come and join her live on the day where we'll actually have a live Q&A. We're going to have an opportunity for you to actually ask questions to Kathy ahead of time so you can get them in early. Um, and Kathy's presentation is titled Introduction to Cervical Auscultation. Now, Kathy, you and I uh, were talking about this again offline a little bit. And I was saying, you know, uh, still to this day, and, and, you know, when I go in to see clients, nobody has listened to the infant with the cervical auscultation. So I'm still wondering how well is it practiced? You know, um, how well do you see it practiced? I mean, maybe because you're teaching teaching it, you don't notice, but I'm telling you, I, nobody, it seems is doing it, you know, where I am. Mm -hmm. And it's always very interesting to be able to discuss the results with the family yeah. and even have them listen to it. Absolutely. At this point, I think it's an advanced practice skill. It's something that uh, lactation consultants are experimenting and learning about. It's a, it's a technique that we kind of borrowed from speech pathologists, but we use it differently than they do. They use it to see, is swallowing safe? And we're using it to see, is this baby swallowing? How's this baby breathing? Where are they, where are they swallowing? And of course, if they're not swallowing safely, we want to be able to, to detect that and refer them appropriately to a speech pathologist or occupational therapist in their area. Yeah, because I know from your presentation, there's actually, I mean, there was things that I'm always learning from you. And I know that um, just learning to hear some of those nuances can actually be um, so supportive in the long run, because it's mm -hmm. not always, it's not just about transfer. There actually could be some anatomical things going on that, you know, are causing, you know, the delay in swallowing that actually need to be looked at by, you know, perhaps an ENT and yeah. or a speech language pathologist as well. So, I mean, it's it's becoming, uh, you know, it's sort of you become a really good detective in some yeah. ways at, at sort of seeking out these different nuances um, and and surprising that the, it's growing. Right. Like you you said yeah. that this this practice is is advancing and it's growing. Um, what what should we expect to see in the future? Are we getting more research or what's happening? Yeah, there's starting to be um, more research in the speech pathology field, especially about electronically characterizing exactly what the frequencies are in, mm. in normal and disturbed swallows. And right. I, I show in my gold talk how we can start to use that to communicate with each other and to start to build a body of knowledge about this mm -hmm. and eventually to move into researching this to be used during breastfeeding as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have found that, you know, using the auscultation has just sort of taken, uh, you know, I think it's, 
it's answered some of the unknown questions that uh, hasn't haven't always resolved um, mm -hmm. the problems. We've we've looked at lactation from the outside for so long and been very dependent on just mm -hmm. the outside. And some of those things are very practical, you know, things like weight gain or how the baby's behaving at the breast. All those nuances and behaviors are so important. But actually hearing it um, has given that level of understanding and knowledge to mm -hmm. a whole new level. Um, yeah. And in some Sometimes, like you said, surprisingly, because it's actually uncovered um, some other, you know, things that, you know, we weren't aware of as well. Um, now, tell me a little bit more. You mentioned uh, earlier on in our chat here, this masterclass, this is something, that, this uh, talk at Gold is sort of going to be sort of an introductory or uh, it's a higher level presentation, but sort of an introductory to a masterclass. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about what you're hoping to do in the future as you as you do more teaching in this area. Tell me about that class. Absolutely. One of the one of the things that I think is very valuable about this gold talk is that mm -hmm. it's recorded so that people can play back and listen again and again before they go on. And the master class will be the same sort of format that there'll be recorded lessons. And then I'd like there to be some live interaction as well available so people can bring in their own clips and we can discuss them as as a group and you know help people with their with their own cases so so anyway that's that's what i'm working on oh, and a good. deeper delve into the science behind it as well right. for for the bio geeks yeah absolutely well that that would be me i'm one of those geeks mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to that um but in this presentation i i encourage all of you to uh, go online right now at goldlearning.com you can check out this uh you know this gold learning day that we have coming up on august 17th and of course it will be pre-recorded and and recorded for your viewing as well um you'll be able to join us of course on the live day which is always fun because we'll be able to do that some really great interaction so level up your lactation skills with uh, Kathy Watson Jenner, and she'll be teaching us introduction to cervical auscultation. You can also drop some questions if you have them right now, just mm -hmm. down below in the comments, and we'll take those and capture them for the day as well. Well, thank you so much, Kathy, for being and here today and just sitting down and chat chatting about this topic. Again, I'm I'm thrilled to be invited back to Gold. Thank you, Fiona. Absolutely. And thank you to all of you again for listening. We'll look forward to having you back really soon and seeing you online at our Gold Learning Day on August 17th. Bye-bye for now, everyone.